For your history and your upcoming schedule, Training Keeper provides calendars that you can review and print. These calendars include daily, weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly views. To get to the calendars, from the main screen, click on Reports, then click on Reports, Calendar, and Excel. You can find calendars for both your data history and future schedule from these two tabs. You generate calendars from the Calendar menu in the ribbon. Let's take a look at the History Calendar. I'm interested in the employees who work for Will Parker. So I'm going to click on Will Parker's name in the list under Manager. Then I'm going to click on Selection equals Will Parker. I isolated all Will Parker's employees. Next, I will select all so I can see them in the calendars. Let's create the calendars by employee. Click on the Employee button in the calendar menu. From here, we can isolate the calendar by the employee from the drop-down menu. Next, we can flow through the months by the arrows, or you can select the exact date by clicking the up arrow. Here is the month of May for Kristen Brochan. This calendar that I just made is for their training or activity history. You can filter this calendar by dates, activity types, classes, employees, departments, managers, positions, shifts, start dates, or a combination of these. You can also view other time frames by clicking the appropriate tab. Here is a bi-weekly view. You can view either the work week or the full week. Let's change this to the full week. If you want, you can print any of these views by clicking print. Training Keeper has a history calendar called Group History. For the selected employees, this calendar groups all the classes and activities into one calendar. To generate this, just click Group History. Here is the group history for the month of March. On any given day, you can scroll through the training provided on that day. Taking a look at the printed version, you can see the calendar space adjusts to the amount of classes. In summary, the Group History Calendar shows all the training provided for the selected employees. Training Keeper has another interesting calendar that you may find useful. You can select a class or activity and see who and when received the training. Here you select Activity slash Class Calendar. Once the calendar comes up, you select the activity from the list. In this case, Document Control Training. You can see one person received training on April 19th and multiple people received training on April 27th for document control. Another calendar you can create is by instructor. Here you see a list of instructors for the selected students. To generate this calendar, click on Instructor Issue By. In this example, you see the classes and meetings led by Chris Parking during the month of March 2018. The schedule calendars work in the same way, but instead of examining history, you see the upcoming schedule training. To start, select the Schedule tab. The calendar title, All Open Activities, combines all open classes into one calendar. Here are the upcoming schedule courses for June of 2018. Here is the day view for June 18th of these courses. Clicking Print reveals the print view. Here is the week view of the courses starting on June 4th, and here is the print view of that week. Back to the schedule calendars, Open by Activity class shows the students who need this activity. For example, there are three people who need badges by June 12th. Hopefully you can see how useful and how the Training Keepers built-in calendars support your company's training program. Thank you for watching. And please see our other videos on Training Keepers features.